myself, Tommy Jos, working as an associate professor in Degree College of Physical Education, is going to explain liver and its application in sports. Today we are going to learn about liver first and then its application in sports. Parts of liver system. First, uh, the entire board shows a liver, then fulcrum, then resistance distance, resistance force, effort arm, effort force, effort distance, and resistance arm. From this, you can understand the different parts of liver system. Next is definition. According to the dictionary definition, a liver is a bar or some other rigid structure hinged at one point and to which forces are applied at two other points. A hinge or pivot point of a liver is known as the fulcrum, one of the forces that acts on the livers as the weight or resistance that opposes the movement and the other as the force that causes or tends to cause the liver to move. This functions. Function of the livers are basically twofold. One is to increase the force, the other one is to increase the speed. Or the livers will or the livers will balance if F into F A is equal to R into R A, that means force into force arm is equal to resistance into resistance R. Almost all livers are used for the purpose of using a relatively small force to overcome a relatively large resistance. So the purpose of liver is clearly explained in this paragraph. Next is which of the two functions a liver serves depends only on the distances from the lines of action of the force and the resistance to the fulcrum. The so called force and resistance arms. So, we have already seen that the liver has got two functions, one is to increase the force and the other one is to increase the speed. It is dependent upon where it is dependent upon the length of the force arm and resistance arms. If the force arm is longer than the resistance arm, the function of the liver is to increase force. On the other hand, if the force arm is shorter than resistance arm, the liver serves to increase the speed. Finally, if both arms are equal in length, no mechanical advantage is gained by using the liver. It serves to increase neither the force nor the speed. So, if you want to use the benefit, uh, get the benefit of this liver, then we have to check whether, whether it, it is for the increase of force or increase of speed. Accordingly, we have to change the length of the force arm. If the force arm is long, then we will be able to gain more force. And if the force arm is less in length, then what will happen? The speed will increase. Because of most human bodies, bony livers have a force arm that is shorter than resistance arm. The human body is generally considered to be much equipped to make fast movement than forceful movements. Our body is made in such a manner that maximum force arms are shorter and that is why we are our body is uh, made in such a manner that we can go for fast movement, not forceful movements. Now, the components of liver. A liver is a rigid object that rotates around a fixed point called the fulcrum. Rotation occurs when effort overcomes resistance. Resistance arm and effort arm are described relative to fulcrum. So, how we can define what is resistance arm and uh, effort arm is dependent upon the position of fulcrum. If the fulcrum, position of fulcrum changes, the length of force arm and resistance arm also will change. Then classification of livers. All of you must be knowing that the liver has got three classes or orders or types it is known as. Livers have been classified into three orders or classes according to the relative location or the points at which the force, fulcrum and resistance act. In a first class liver, the fulcrum lies between the effort and resistance. Example, seesaw, scissors, balance scale. Body liver. The example of body liver is the head tipping forward and backward is a good example for first class liver in the body.
So here the diagram is given resistance, resistance arm, force arm, applied force and fulcrum everything is shown here. Then the example of first class lever is shown here how the force is applied and how the resistance is acting upon. This uh, example of scissor that is external lever. In second class lever the resistance point lies between the fulcrum and the effort point. So, the difference between first class lever and second class lever is the position of fulcrum in first class lever it is in the middle and second class lever it is the in the resistance is in the middle. You can see the resistance in the middle with a violet color you can see that and where is the fulcrum is located and how the force is applied and the direction of force is also shown here. Then classes of levers examples second class lever the example is wheel barrow. Then in third class the effort lies in between the fulcrum and the resistance point. Here the effort or force is coming in between and that is why it is known as the third class lever. External lever door with a spring closer in body forearm flexed with by the biceps. Here the diagram is given again the force is in the middle resistance at the one side and fulcrum on the other side the arrows pointing the direction of force applied. Levers are easy to spot because they are they help us in our lives. Some examples are shown here with the name it is given. Levers, lever is a rigid, rigid rod pivoted about a fixed point or axis which is known as fulcrum. It is clearly explained here and the, with the example even how the scissor is working and what is the uh, resistance and what is the effort or force it is shown here clearly. Again examples are shown here. Seesaw is shown here and jack is shown here. Brake pedal is also an example. Here fishing rod is also an example and shovel is also shown. Now the mechanical advantage, mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by effort. Man lifting a stone with a lever is you can see how much effort he is applying and how much load is there. And if less load is applied then we can say that we have increased the force. And if you are applying more force and increasing the speed then we can say that the lever is increasing speed. Two kinds of levers in regarding mechanical advantage, two kinds of levers are there. Lever that helps increase output for of force, human moving a heavy object with the help of a crowbar. Then lever move object further and faster, movement of robot with paddle. Types of levers produce either increase in speed or force. Here the human body examples are given here one is the biceps bending the forearm and then it is a mandib mandible bone is shown here while chewing or some other muscles are working and contracting it and that due to that we could chew. Body segment as levers in the human body we do not have anything even faintly resembling a punch can opener. A hockey stick or seesaw when recognize each of these levers as rigid bar which turns about a fulcrum when force is applied to it, it is then apparent that nearly every bone in the skeleton can be looked upon as lever. The bone itself serves as the rigid bar, the joint as the fulcrum and the contracting muscle as the force. So, it is clearly explained that how our body is working as a lever. We have levers with our body and also use them externally for many different reasons and uh, here some of the examples are given sporting example and other examples are shown here. One is fishing and the other one is uh, opener is used to open the bottle, then golf, then tennis, then uh, softball is shown, rowing is shown, running is shown. In these activities, in these sports, we use the knowledge of liver. Thank you.